think, apart from getting an instant number, that was a waste of time. Well, it was my fault that he got away. Yeah, well, don't give yourself a hard time, mate. I'm proud of you. You know, a lot of people in your shoes, they would have run a mile. Not you and Kath, no, two real have-a-go heroes. When I saw that idiot running off, it made me blood boil. Well, at the end of the day, I would rather lose a few quid than a valuable member of my team, OK? What's all this? Chesney was mugged outside. What? Yep. On the way to the bank, with about £3,000 worth of takings. No. Oh, that's terrible. You are right. Well, luckily, no one was hurt. Yeah, but the mugger scarpered with the dosh. Did you get a good look at him? Well, five foot eight, medium build. He was wearing a balaclava. It's brilliant. Well, well, I'm going to have to trawl for the CCTV footage, see if I can spot anything suspicious. I'm going to get your if that's all right. Yeah, of course, mate. And listen, thanks again, Chaz. You really came through for me today, mate. I just needed to spend a bit. Oh, hiya. Hiya. Hi. Yeah. Oh, hiya, Chaz. What are you doing here? I just came around to ask if they could have Joseph later so I can nip up to the school and see his work. Why are you being weird? Uh, right, I, I hate to sound ungrateful or anything, but um, where did you say you got this from again? Um, Kirky sold some medals. <sighs> Only I saw your balaclava earlier. Right. And then I went to Dev's to pick up a loaf and I found out all his takings had been stolen. And the person who did it was wearing a balaclava. Look, you know what? I'm probably just putting two and two in together and making... It was me! I stole the money! <laughs> I've ever heard in all my life. And stupidest. Nobody got hurt. Is this what you've been telling yourself? Because in my book, Debbie's a victim, Kathy's a victim. We were desperate. We had to do something. You could all end up in prison. And so could I, knowing what I know now, if I took the money. <sighs> Listen, I just... I just don't want you stealing money on my account. None of this would have happened if you... If what? They were worried about you. They wouldn't normally do something like this. They meant well. Are you going to turn us in? You've got every right. I hope they lock me up and throw away the key. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Look on the bright side. We have sort of got away with it. You are? Well, we've got the cash and Dev's none the wiser. Oh, dear, I used to look up to you, Auntie Beth. I don't know why. Look, now you can go see this other doctor and try this new drug. It could save your life. So could the treatment that she's getting now. We have to give the money back to Dev. He'll report us to the police. Not necessarily. Okay. Why don't you tell Dev what you just told me? Is this your money? It is. Wow, where did you find this? You're not going to believe this. At the back of the shop. I was putting a bin out. But this is this is incredible. Yeah, what are the chances? The robber must have just dropped it. <laughs> is it all there, Chez? Yeah. Yeah? Well, listen, you could have put this straight in your pocket. I would have been none the wiser. Well, well, what an honest bunch. I mean, thank you, really. All quiet on the Western Front. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, reviewing my security arrangements, new locks, more cameras, etc. Oh, Big Brother is watching you. <laughs> well, obviously not closely enough if people think they can just swing by and steal from me, right? Well, you got the money back, that's something. I did. But there's still a mugger loose out there. Mm. And you or Chesney could have been hurt, and I intend to find out who did this. Might have a thankless task there. Yeah, maybe. But Sinead lied. What makes you think that? Because there's no footage of her around the back of the shop. Well, you really have got all big brother. So she can't have found the money there. So the question is, why did she lie? 